camp out on the couch here if I went ahead and uh, tore apart a washing machine for him for scrap. Alright? We're good with that? Uh, I gotta get out there and start on it. Well, see you there. Alright, Dr. Z said to tear this washing machine apart. For him. You know, he said that's the only thing he could trust me to do. Wait a minute. Oh, my hair. Oh, I can't hardly see anything. Uh, he said to go ahead and tear it apart because he, he wouldn't trust me to fix his own, the air conditioner in his doghouse. But he'll, he'll let me tear this apart. Uh, Sort things out here. Uh, oh, uh, oh, hard night. All right, first, yeah, I need a hammer. <laughs> uh, first, I'll take a hammer just to bump off these knobs. There we go. Yeah. yeah, they just come right off. And then I'll lay this here. And let's see if this one will. Oh, yeah. That comes off too. We're real easy. Uh, well, now what? I actually got to use a screwdriver. Uh, uh, oh, great. Looks like a star bit or some crazy thing here. Who invented star bits anyway? I mean, they must have been drinking or something. Uh, so, I mean, what, what's wrong with regular, like, Phillips or something? Here we go. Uh, just take off the screws. Now, Dr. Z, you know, I mean, he, he wants me to save the screws and everything for scrap. That guy, he, he scraps out everything. Right? I think he'd scrap out his mother's teeth if, if they were gold or if they were round or something anyway so <laughs> here we go there now now I can open up this thing here here whoa look at all that wire and stuff uh, so we'll go ahead and rip out all this Oh, I use the gloves is probably a good idea, but I'm not real smart anyway, so I'm, I'm, that's probably why I'm not doing that. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, what do I do with that other bit? Oh, it's in my pocket. So, let's see here. Uh, I'll, uh, yeah, you, you know, uh, would probably work good as like a, a screwdriver with a whole bunch of uh, or a, a drill with a, like a draw, bit driver or something. Uh, I don't know if I have that size. Let's see here. Um, it's a quarter inch. And uh, we'll lay that there for now. And there we go. There we go. Yeah. Well, uh, oh. well. Yeah. A lot of a lot of stuff in here. Ah, uh, sorry, my viewers. I had to take over. Dopey just wasn't working out. He. I, I don't know, he couldn't figure out what the end of the screwdriver was what or something. So, uh, here we go. Uh, let's see where he's got me. 
lost here. Uh, all right, so we got the right here. Now, by the way, taking apart items like this is uh, actually a learning experience to see how things are made. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm doing this right now, is to show you how things are made. Um, put together, anyway. Now, of course, this is, let's see, oh, the load size thing. So it has a, okay. So it's got a little hose in here that looks like must have some kind of like a pneumatic control or electromagnetic control for to determine the load size. And um, uh, also I'm um, go ahead and uh, start pulling off stuff like this. I get really geeky when I start to uh, tear things apart, by the way, for scrap. Um, you know, this is uh, thing I do, and I'll really take out the wiring like most people do, of course, but I mean, I'll even tear apart uh, items for brass. See these little pins right here? I'll even take them out for brass. If that's if they're brass. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they are. And, you know, uh, actually salvaging a uh, washing machine is different from like an air conditioner in that, of course. Okay, so far, let's see. Now, we've got to get the, these controls out of here yet. Um, let's see. Oh, which way does this thing to go? Oh, look at there. Let's see. We've got a little... Uh, uh, a lot of plastic involved here, actually. But see this right here? I keep this around to uh, tell me if it's steel or or brass or what. Okay, this is brass right here, so that's going to go to my brass bucket. Look at there. It's something else. Well, nowhere to go. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, let's see, I cut that one up too. See, think, it's amazing how this stuff falls apart in your hands when you're actually tearing it apart. See that right there? Non-magnetic, so it's going to be brass. Sometimes it'll be copper, though, so you kind of have to really look at it good. Okay, so into the brass bucket it goes. All right, now, let's see. There's more stuff here. All right. Um, again, we got this kind of stuff right there that's Probably going to be brass. If, uh, fell in there. Well, I got other things here, like this. Okay, non-magnetic. It's going to be brass. There it is. Brass bucket. Well, okay. I'll get to catch up to that thing later. And uh, got a lot of plastic here too, of course. I and mean, that's pretty darn typical. And, any of this kind of stuff. But uh, the plastic, unfortunately, I don't know what to do with the plastic. Let's see, make sure, yep, non magnetic. Um, except for throw it away in the trash. I wish there were a market for that kind of stuff that, you know, the general public could uh, get involved in. Um, Okay, so I'll just here we go. Off it comes. I'll go ahead and strip this out later. Now I'm going to start throwing away all my plastic. Plastic. Got some space here. All right, here we go. Little pieces of uh, metal, magnetic, uh, and this here. Oh, Brass out of there. Uh, okay. Well, anyway. Okay, so this is this is steel. So this will go out for steel. So this is. And then uh, let's 
Let's see here. I'll take and remove this controller for right now. And I'll separate it out further later. Alright. Now, see a lot of times some people think that the controls themselves are don't really have any scrap like copper or brass or anything to them and that they're just trash well that's not true because these solenoid coils right here have a lot of copper in them and I'll show you later on now I'm going to take all this out of there Yeah. So, I mean, I've, I've watched a lot of uh, scrapper type of, of videos out there that's on YouTube. It's really, really very interesting. Like, okay, like I said, I'll scrap these out later. Alright, now I'm also going to go ahead and remove these screws from the back side of this. You know, I, I like to strip these out. I mean, strip everything now to get out to the lowest common denominator, you might say, to get maximize the amount of scrap that you can earn from uh, doing this work. Some people won't go to the extent that I will, but like I said, this is a geek out, so, you know, you scrapper geeks out there, I mean, this is... This is a real, uh, gives you a really good idea what, what we're doing here. A nice piece of tin right there, that'll be. Of course, <laughs> it's ironic as tin and steel and heavy heavy steel and all that that's still worth about the same I get about eight to nine cents a pound here where I'm at so steel is steel I just throw all the same bucket since they don't want to give you more money for separating it so now all right. that off of there Got another screw right here now of course uh, uh, a, uh, a drill motor would be a little helpful, but I don't know even why I'm doing this by hand. It's like, why? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Now this is this is starting to get to me. Hold on. Now don't don't let anybody fool you. Scrapping is really a lot of uh, a lot of work. Uh, you get cuts and bruises and who knows what else. What kind of boo-boos doing it. And here's part of the gold that we're going after right here is this extension cord. When I say gold, I mean copper because it's kind of a, well, copper is the new gold or silver in some senses. Uh, it's a uh, coming quite the metal and it makes sense its uses are many so uh, there we go nice piece of tin and here's the extension cord now I'll scrap this cord out even further yet later down the road and then We've got more stuff to take apart. Uh -huh. um, of course, this is plastic right here. Um, let's see. Um, what I'll have to do here actually is pop this hood. Um, so now, Get a hammer 
course, if, of course, if you were fixing the, this washer, you would want to take a hammer to it like this. Um, hmm. It's usually just some clips that are holding this tight in place. And that can be a pair to get to sometimes. That's right. There's a will, there's there's a way or will or there we go. So that's the top. We haven't even done with the top because we got we have some copper wire right there. So that'll go in the copper wire pile. Alright, so it looks pretty much to be ready for all for tin right here. Now, we can keep this wire harness going. Right on that side. Mm There we go. A little bit of plastic to take off yet. There we have it. Do that now. Plastic, yeah. Here we go. Piece of tin. Into the tin pile. I got these little clips here for the front. These have to come out. Yeah, that was easy. Um, okay. That's easy. Nice. Nice big piece of tin. Right there. Yeah, right about now, I think this thing's about standing up on a prayer. I don't know what for here, but, you know. Yeah, it's there <laughs> Here we go. Get down to the nitty gritty now. What? I can't see where you're going. There we go. Take out this water pump. Uh, wait a minute. Pump and done. And now I got this thing here. I've got to get this hose clamp off here. Pull that off. And 
wire here off of there some way. Nice water pump. Well, they got no reuse for it. So I'll tear it apart, scrap it later. Plastic can't be used, so goodbye. And as usual, there's plastic little clamps or straps or something hold down here. We all the wire so bust it loose. And there we have it. There's a, another piece of pin that I can uh, actually uh, I can collapse a little bit more so I can get it inside my car for a bunch more stuff here. piece of, of tin right there and got some um, these stands which uh, actually um, I'll just put it I put it just like this here in my tin pile ready all right now we're gonna rip this apart uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's turn this thing back up again. Um. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Plastic. Yay. Not really. Um. And of course, in here you've got the all this stuff down here that's going to have to come out somehow and maybe a hammer um, and then I got water in this thing yet I may have to tip the water out tipping the whole thing upside down there. all right have it. Yeah, that's the bottom side of the washing machine. I would take that apart first and then work it up there. All right, I'll do that. Okay, now um, all right, let's see. Now start taking this apart. It's agitators agitating me. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't know there was water in there. Here we go. Plastic agitator, all gone. Looks like I'm going to need to tear it apart separately. Yeah, get the belt off of there. Yeah, it went all shells using an adjustable wrench. About got the motor off. Whew. Look at there. Now this is where your usually where the big money is, is in these motors. But that's of course is, as long as it's got copper windings and not aluminum windings. There we go. That's the motor. We'll strip that out later on. At home I don't 
So here we go. More plastic. For, uh, Use the mini grinder here to cut along there, so make it a little easier. Bust it up. Go. That helps. After scratching the windings, I found that it's just aluminum windings, so it's not really worth tearing this apart. Naturally, you get a lot of plastic stuff that has to be thrown away when you scrap out just about anything. Remember I was telling you about these solenoid coils? Well, they're good to scrap. This is not tr completely trash. <coughs> well, good idea to, you could bust those up like a hand with a hammer or something, you know. Let's see here, I can get, a, get it to open up easy enough. And you see in the inside there, you can see some copper windings that could be taken out. Here we have some electrical wiring that will need to be either, you could be stripped or you could, you could take and not strip it, sell it like that, but you get a much better price if you strip the wire or Actually, we'll just keep the wire as you, for, for the copper, for investment purposes, whatever. Uh, believe it or not, but I like to even take uh, little pieces like this apart for the brass connections. Right here, these are these little brass connectors. And here's the here's the. Uh, uh, probably one of the items here with most of the copper to it. It's the water pump. So I'll tear that apart and strip out all the copper. <laughs> 